Hello and welcome to Thought for August the 24th. Our readings are 1 Kings chapter 19, Jeremiah's chapters 45 and 46, and 1 Corinthians chapters 4 and 5. And our thought is, It is enough now, O Lord. Elijah showed he was a man of great faith when he challenged the wicked king Ahab on Mount Carmel. Fire miraculously burnt up his offering and 450 prophets of Baal were killed. Then three and a half years of drought came dramatically to an end. But after that, he had a remarkable collapse of faith. We suspect that after the remarkable climax of events on Mount Carmel, he thought everything was going to be easier now and his intense faith in God relaxed. Not so. In today's chapter in 1 Kings 19, when Jezebel declares her intention to kill him because he had caused the death of her 450 prophets, Elijah's confidence in serving the Lord suddenly collapses and he runs for his life. He says to God, It is enough now, O Lord. Take away my life, for I am no better than my father's. Verse 14. But the end result is that he finds God in a more personal way than ever before. Food is miraculously provided for him, and after 40 days, interestingly, that period, the same as Moses spent on the mountain with God, he comes to Horeb, the Mount of God. Verse 8. Where Moses had received the law. He lodges in a cave, verse 9, and there he experiences the awesome power of God. He thinks he is the only faithful person left in Israel, but he is told there are 7,000 in Israel who have not bowed the knee to worship Baal, verse 18. As he hides in the cave, there is a strong wind, strong enough to break the rocks, then an earthquake, and then a fire. Awesome. It is rather parallel to God's judgments on the world at the end of this age, when Jesus is about to come. After all this, he hears a whispering voice, verse 11 and 12, and so he stands at the entrance of the cave and receives new commands of the work he still has to do for the Lord. So Elijah found God and experienced a relationship with God in greater measure after the events on Mount Carmel. And what is the lesson for us? If we are totally committed to serving God, He will never let us go. If things go wrong in our life, it is a prelude to having a closer relationship with God and serving Him and His Son in an even more intimate manner. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.